unleash hell just a little bit awkward but as they leap away crown estate is very slow into stride and just being pushed along through the early stages to gather some momentum doing it rather more easily under the sun in the red colors with ancient wisdom and dallas star in the purple on the running rail victory shout comes next on the outside of unleash hell and appeared to be a little bit of interference there between storm alice and crown estate storm alice was one that is also being pushed along as crown estate tried to improve on her inside but out in the lead it's Dallas Star for Kevin Stott who leads the turn in second is under the sun in the red colors unleash hell in the red sleeves on the inside and then the blue jacket of ancient wisdom crown estate in the scarlet sleeves just moving into the race now in fifth place with victory shouting green and storm Alice at the back so Dallas Star it is who has the lead under the sun traveling smoothly now ancient wisdom begins to improve as unleash hell begins to backpedal crown estate has moved nicely into the race in fourth having given them a start as they make their way towards the final quarter mile. Dallas Star with Under the Sun, Ancient Wisdom being produced. Then behind these, Crown Estate trying to get on terms, but as they make their way with a furlong and a half to go, just about three in line. Under the Sun in red colours, taken on by Ancient Wisdom, who moves smoothly to the front in third place then, and ridden along is Dallas Star from Crown Estate. But Ancient Wisdom is coming clear, a double on the day for Charlie Appleby, James Doyle, and Godolphin. And Ancient Wisdom stretched out really nicely, head back at the line to beat under the sun Dallas star crown estate and they were clear from victory shout who got going a little late and finished with running left in fifth looks like we've seen something very interesting in ancient wisdom in race five at Haydock tonight James Doyle was that as good as it looked to the naked eye it was yeah no um, obviously we were expecting him to to run a very good race and um, and he's done that and a bit more so yeah delighted with him he really learned on the job um, drawn post a little bit wide but he broke smartly it's nice to get a lead went to sleep a little bit round the turn but once we straightened up I asked him to just show a bit of interest and he jumped into the bridle and took me along good showed a good kick sort of a furlong and a half out when I asked him to go and he really hit the line good and galloped out strong so I'd say it was a uh, everything you kind of look for in a, in a debut of a potentially pretty smart horse to the naked eye on the side on camera he seemed to have this long raking stride as a jockey can you sense when a horse is really covering the ground like that? yeah and I think um, I think he hasn't quite flattened out in his action yet he is still a bit babyish in his action that he spends a bit of time up in the air and I think hopefully with time and maturity um, he, that action should lower um, obviously it's a very flat track here but um, I, th I think I think in time it will flatten out so uh, but yeah he covers the ground really well You've run tons of Dubawis for Godolphin is there a particular horse he might remind you of at this very early stage hard to, hard to kind of say as we know um, as good a sire as we all know Dubawi is he's, he's not predominantly known for his early type two-year-olds is he so um, although he has had very outstanding juveniles but um, this fella, as you can see, walking around the paddock, he's got plenty of size and substance about him. So when you look at him, he doesn't necessarily scream a sort of precocious type. Uh, he got a bit playful at home, and we felt like we just had to turn the screw on him a little bit just to get, get his focus. And then when we popped him in with a couple of gallops, he, he showed up very well, hence why we're here today. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, there's every reason to be pretty excited about it. Nice work. One last cheeky question. Do you want me to go out and find your whip for you? <laughs> yeah. I thought one tap just in case the Ascot might come a bit soon, but I thought if he, if they have a close eye on that, I just thought I'd teach him a little bit one tap and then threw it away. So I'll have to go and find that now. Well done, James. Thanks. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.